Hey everyone, so I'm gonna review over the squid again. I actually got a little bit of a better specimen this time for the male. So if you wanna pause it so you can see the structures, I do have them numbered, but I'll go over them. Um, I don't have them all labeled, just some of the major ones. So number one, this pinkish lobe, that is the testis or testy. And right here, number two, there's a whole bunch of quilled tubes. You can see kind of the pink part right here and right here. All has a whole bunch of quilled tubes. That is this vast deference. That's where all the sperm kind of travels through after it leaves the, the testis after the sperm is created. And then number three, the structure is slight little gland that's connected to the vas deferens. That's the spermatophoric gland or the sperm gland that produces the sperm packet. And this is, and then right here, number four, this tube right here, that's the penis. So penis, sperm gland, number two right here is the vas deferens. And then number one right there is the testis. So those are the male, male structures. And then I'm going to go over here. Um, this jelly-like sac, it's a lot larger in this one, but it's kind of like falling apart. This is one of the digestive organs. This is the um, cecum. So this jelly-like sac is the cecum, and this one's kind of falling apart. And then right here, it's kind of firmer and harder. That is the stomach. So stomach is connected to the cecum. And those are the digestive organs. And then right in the middle, um, yeah, so stomach was labeled number five, and then cecum's number six. Okay, so right in the middle, number seven. This is the systemic heart right in the middle. And then number eight, you can see little this little circle structure. And that circle structure here, that is the um, brachial hearts. So that's systemic heart in the middle, and the brachial hearts, is little circle ones on the side. Um, then number nine is the gill, one of the gills. There's one on either side. Okay, so underneath the ink sac is the intestine and rectum. It's attached to it. So you can see here, at the very top, it's more of a fleshy color. That is like the actual intestine. And if I flip it over, you can see more of a silvery. That is the ink sac. And so if you travel down, um, you can actually see two exit openings. And it's kind of covered in black dye. But here is the anus and then the ink sacs right there. So the end. So the rectum is just towards the, the more towards the very end. So I have it together as like ink sac, rectum, and anus all together. It's just the ink sacs on top. And then the liver is really hard to see. I took it out, so don't worry about the liver. They aren't very large. It's just a lobe that's underneath the ink sac. But this and this, number 11. These are the retractor muscles that control the siphon, which number 12 is the siphon. Number 13, you can see it right here, is the pen. And this is the remnant um, reduced shell. And you can see it up here too. So you can hear how hard it is. And the students could have actually removed it if they wanted to. Um, then I cut in between the arms into the head cavity, and this is the buccal mass, buccal mass, and it has the beak and mouth inside of it, so it's actually really hard, and it could open too, so the beak and mouth inside the buccal mass, and then it has that tube attached to it, that's the esophagus, and it passes behind the brain, and then goes all the way up to the stomach. So that's the buccal mass. And then you have your arms, the shorter ones, there's eight of them. And they have tentacles on them. And then the longer one, one of them I think got ripped off in this one, but 
The longer ones are the tentacles, and it also has suckers. Um, the upper body of the squid, I mean, we're looking at it on the inside, but this is the mantle. And then, then we have the, the fins. And here, since I'm almost done with it, go to the, um, all the little purple dots on the mantle are the chromatophores. That's it for the, the male. And if you want to see the, the car that goes with it again, to make sure you can identify all the structures. And so you can see more of them in the male because in the female, I'll show you here in a second, is covering all the structures. So here is the female. I don't have any, the stuff that you can, that you can see on both, I don't have labeled again. Only thing I have labeled on the female is this structure right here, which is the ovary. And you can see all the eggs. Should be easy to tell. Then you have the nidomental glands. And this creates the egg mass covering um, that turns all the eggs into a, like an egg mass. And that's the nidomental glands. Um, on the lab document and the word bank, I messed up. Um, I wasn't paying attention. You can't see it in the picture. So this side, technically, this is the, the cecum. Technically. Uh, the other one's more of a, like jelly-like. And then over here on the side, you can't see it in the picture in the lab document. This is the, the stomach right here. So the stomach. And this was the leftover cecum that you could kind of see poking out that have labeled. And this structure right there you can see it's one of the brachial hearts you can see the rust which is covered up by the nidimental glands people were asking what these little pink structures are and i think those were the oviductal glands but you're not responsible for knowing that and then you can see all the other structures like the the ink sac which is connected on the other side the intestine rectum and anus you can see the gills, you can see the siphon, the eye, and it has a hard lens inside. And then the buccal mass, which has the beak and mouth. And then you can see the pen that's underneath right there. It's reduced remnant of the shell. And then it's right there, right there too. And then you've been mantle. Ten, uh, arms, short ones, and then tentacles with the suckers. Um, this side that we cut into, this is ventral. The side with the siphon is ventral. Um, then the other side, where you can see all the chromatophores, the darker side, that is dorsal. This area towards the head, is anterior, more towards the tip up here where the fins are, this is posterior. So anterior, posterior, this is ventral. The other side, the other side that does not have the siphon, that has all the dark pigmentation, that is dorsal. And so, like I said, I only have those two structures labeled on the female because it's the same over the male other than that. And this one hides a lot of the structures. So here's a review, recap. And this one actually is a lot better model than the one I did in the other video. So here's the male squid and female squid anatomy. Make sure you study for the lab practical. Let me know if you have any questions.